for the first time in the series, Santiago Lopez wins Player of the Month. La Liga's Player of the Month is going to be Santiago Lopez. Luciano Vieto plays the ball through into me and now I'm one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and this time with my left foot, I go underneath the keeper and I do score. So I've scored against one of the best keepers of all time, Iker Casillas, which is fantastic. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player series. Your support on this series, honestly, just incredible. I asked for 200 likes in the previous episode. You guys smashed well over 250. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't thank y'all enough for your support. And again, today's episode is going to be an international special. We have been selected for the upcoming international friendlies. Yes, they're against weak teams like India and Canada, but it's a chance for us to get some goals with my country, of course, and hopefully make a name for ourselves in Argentina. Because, you know, the Copa America is coming up soon, and I want to be a part of that squad, so I've got to be performing in these friendlies and taking every opportunity I get. Today's episode is just going to consist of international games. That is why it is going to be short. I was going to include some Atletico Madrid gameplay as well, but I have an exam tomorrow, so I couldn't record a lot today. So yeah, apologize for that. Because this episode is a bit short, what I'll do is the next episode, I'll make it extra long. So if you guys smash over 200 likes, I'll have an extra long episode of the My Player series this Sunday. So go ahead and drop a like on this video. And also, while you're down there, why not subscribe to this channel for daily FIFA 17 content. Have a look at this guys, we're 82 rated now and some of our stats have hit 90, in fact only one stat, but that's pretty incredible, we've got 90 dribbling now. It is now time for the Argentina game, first game we have been picked against India. Surprisingly the coach has opted to leave out Leo Messi and all the other big players like Aguero and Dybala from this squad, I don't know why but maybe it's to rest them, besides it's India and Canada, it shouldn't be much of a problem for us, so the coach has started me in this one and I've got some good players playing around me like Pastore who's captaining the side, Alejandro Gomez who is just insane in this game, so super excited to see how this team plays and because it's India I'm looking to score at least a couple of goals in this one, started off well, we tested the keeper there, Singh is the name of his keeper, of their keeper, he makes a good save early on and now some good link up play between me and Rigoni, Rigoni then finds, of course, Lanzini, the West Ham player who gets the shot off. The number 7, he's wearing the number 7 kit right now. And of course, his shot goes wide. We were actually wearing the number 9 kit for Argentina. That is actually a pretty big deal. And now we've got a good chance to create something. 29th minute, I played inside. I squared it into Lanzini and Manuel Lanzini puts it home. We get an assist in the Argentina shirt. Really happy about that. And just after that, I steal the ball from one of the Indian defenders. And then I'm on my right foot. And you guys know when Santiago Lopez is on his right foot. He isn't missing a terrific finesse shot. We get a plus one in my curve stat, which is incredible. And there is the hand bite celebration, which I'm really enjoying to do, man. It's a really good celebration in my game. In the comment section, let me know which is your favorite celebration and don't put the dab or the big man. Those are just annoying celebrations in this game. What is your genuine favorite celebration? Let me know down in the comment section below. We've got another chance to score. Has the ball played through into me? I'm on my left foot, but the one star weak foot comes into play as I couldn't convert that chance. I have to keep going though. I have to still try and get as many goals as I can with my left foot. I should have about four or five goals. I need to get 30 so I can get an upgrade in my my weak foot another opportunity for some reason i take this one with my left foot i intend to shoot a lot earlier but somehow the game just had a bit of a delay there for some reason and i took the shot a lot later and that cost me that chance but here i play a great through ball into lanzini who for some reason cuts it back into me i would have preferred if he would have gone for the german shot there because i wasn't expecting that pass from him and i just let it fly with my left foot and it just went to the stands poor finishing there from me but now i've got a chance here santiago lopez gets the shot off but cardozo Cardozo? I mean, that is not an Indian name. Very weird indeed, but Fulganco Cardozo. It sounds some Colombian shit or something like that. But anyways, he fouls me and we get a penalty. I take it and I score. So that gives me a match rating of 9.6 so far with, of course, two goals and one assist in this game. We are destroying India, man. I feel bad for them because India is where I'm actually from. 
but nevertheless it doesn't really matter does it i take a finesse shot it hits the post but then javier pastore does convert it great finish there from pastore i would have loved to score that goal because it would have given me a hat trick but i guess it wasn't to be here i'm on the run again i played out wide into i believe alejandro gomez gomez crosses this one in a great cross but the player who headed the ball that wasn't the best of headers. It was straight towards the keeper who did make a good save. And now in the 82nd minute, Nico Gaitan plays the ball through into me. I try to take it wide, but I get fouled. We get a free kick. And surprisingly, I was allowed to take this free kick. So I was given the free kicks and penalty duties, which wouldn't have happened if Messi or Paolo Dybala or someone else was in the team. So pretty happy about that. But I guess I wouldn't be getting to take free kicks anytime soon because that was a shit free kick. Not gonna lie. The game has come to an end. And our, I think, second game with Argentina. Correct me if I i'm wrong this is our second game and we get two more goals and also one assist besides that a total record for argentina in the two games we've played is like three goals and one assist so we've been really good for argentina in this game i was just trying to prove myself i wasn't just passing the ball around i was just you know trying to get a few goals and it worked out perfectly we even got an assist so really happy about that now unfortunately we haven't been picked for the upcoming game against canada i plan to include that as well and if i would have it would have been an episode at least 10 to 12 minutes long but for some reason the coaches decided to bench me for this one maybe because of fitness reasons so yeah but something incredible happened paulo Dybala was watching the argentina india game and he was really impressed with my performance so i'm excited guys in the future playing alongside paulo Dybala. That'll be pretty incredible. He tweeted at me. I'll respond to him later on soon. Super happy about that. Super stoked about that. But now we're going to be simming this one against Canada. And we should be getting the job done. Aladio, I, I don't, I'm not sure who he is. But he's playing instead of me. He gets himself a brace as well. Gaitan picks up a goal. So not bad at all. So this episode, although it was a short one, a lot happened. Paulo Dybala tweeted at me. Besides that, we scored a couple of goals for Argentina. And now the next episode is going to be even more more insane we've got real madrid that is probably the biggest game i've ever took part in so far in this series so i'm super excited to get a few goals against them you know what even if i get one goal i'll be really happy we are league leaders so i guess we're expected to do well in that game wanted to show you guys my career record so far 72 games played 42 goals and 15 assists I'm telling you guys, that is a record of a world-class player in the making. Hopefully, we can keep up that good form in the upcoming episode, score a few goals against Leganes, Real Madrid in the Champions League and stuff. But overall, man, things are going super awesome for us in this series. Of course, the international stats aren't shown in the squad report section for some reason. Very weird indeed. But yeah, we know what's happened, man, in the international games. Also, looking at the squad ranking, we are the se second most valuable player in the team. And also, in terms of forwards, we are the most valuable striker in the team. So, the decision to join Atletico Madrid to play under Diego Simeone has just been a perfect one. I intend to stay here for a long time. But that is it for this video. Drop a like if you guys have enjoyed. 200 likes, you guys know what to do. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you guys very soon for another episode of this series.